In this episode of Guide to Cheap Living, we're going to be discussing, we're going to be showing you more places where you can get free reading material. Like these here. Like figure, like where I live here in the Keystone State. All, all the places that sell liquor are pretty much owned by Harrisburg. Like Harrisburg owns them. I'm talking about the, uh, let's say the Commonwealth. That's what they officially call it. A figure. Wine and Spirits Quarterly. You can get these free or so. Got a couple of different issues here. No, it's good reading material, but you can also find a good price list of all the. I like to say of all the cheap alcohols. <laughs> like this was a uh, uh, another free item or so that was distributed for free. But these were distributed at uh, gun stores. Place that sold, uh, like, say, I forget, gun stores and shit. Call it on Target. I don't know if they still uh, distribute at gun stores. If you know places that sell this, or say, distribute them for free, leave a comment or so. Figure you could probably learn. You can get a lot. Of stuff. You could probably learn a lot. Like figure he provided reviews on some types of on say types of firearms and shit. Here's other types of reading material you can get for free. This is real good reading material. Not a bonus. Brochures or so for various uh, firearms. If you're at gun stores and shit. Well, especially places like the Cabela store or Gander Mountain. I've been at two separate Gander Mountain locations. For sure. I bet you can always uh, get a lot of good reading material and shit like that. Real good reading material. For sure. Like. <laughs> or even, go, even at various gun stores that uh, have brochures. Oh, gun stores do have brochures for real. So, I figure they make good reading material for sure if you're in the. Uh, like, if you're in the target shooting or hunting. Sure, you're probably asking. You don't, uh, these don't, uh, are not distributed for free. You have to pay for these. And yes, you have to pay for them. But uh, I managed to get all these for free. Oh yeah, you can simply, uh, even though you have to pay for it. Three ninety nine or so. If you're living here in America. Or six ninety nine for those that are living in, uh, Canada. But you'll know what can happen. You might simply go to some local gun club. Or go to some place, or somebody might, uh, have a, say, be a licensed, uh, firearms deal or whatever. You might end up, or somebody out there might end up, uh, getting these in or so. And they need to, uh, get rid of them or so. They might just bring unsold issues, whatever. And redistribute it for, to the people. That's why I got many of these anyway. Many these issues. Somebody was like uh, distributing them. Very the local gun guy belong to. Somebody probably was giving these away. Comes up at came up at times with various magazines, like bow hunting magazines and shit and uh, other good shit. If there's people giving these away or so. They might give free magazines away like this. Usually these you don't, you have to pay for them or when you buy them. But oh, you could probably, or if, some, if you know somebody's throwing stuff out like this, just tell them you'll, you'll take it off their hands for nothing. Say so you'll throw it out for them. 
But what are you taking it to? It's like in your uh, house. It's like a. Uh... <laughs> or you're just pretty much keeping for reading material. So people give stuff like this away for free. Take the opportunity. Yeah, sure, you'll probably then say, this, you'll probably much say the guy that cheap building loses all its credibility. Or you can get these for free if some, if say, like if somebody gives you uh, them as uh, gifts or whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You could probably say it's the end of this episode.